let's talk about how to make a simple bar chart in Excel. So to make a bar chart, I need a, some categories and some count data for those categories. To create a bar chart in Excel, I simply select that in my spreadsheet. I come up to insert to the charts group, click on columns. Now I'm going to select a 2D column, click on it, and there we go. So for each category, I now have my count. Now I have a data set here with 1,470 rows of information about employees at a fictional company. And what I want to know is I want to know how often my employees travel. All right, so something I'm going to do real quick to make this a little easier is I'm going to use Control T to and then hit OK, and that's going to turn this into a table. I'm going to name my table data. And that's just going to make it easier for me to select my data. Now, if I want, so if I just try to create a bar chart by selecting the data and coming up to insert charts group bar plot, I get a completely meaningless mess. And the reason for that is I haven't summarized this as count data yet. So I've already got all my data selected here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use control C to copy it. I'm going to come over here to my working spreadsheet. I'm going to right click, paste values. I'm going to come up to data, remove duplicates. Hit OK. That's going to remove all of the duplicate values. So now I just have my unique values. And now I'm, I can simply use the COUNTIFS function and some conditional referencing to do my count. So I'm going to use equals COUNTIFS. I'm going to hit tab in order to open my parentheses. And then I know my table is named data, so I'm going to type data. Open square brackets. And now I can pick from my various columns. I know I'm interested in business travel, so I'm going to use tab to select that. Close my square brackets, comma to put in my next argument. And my next argument is I want the data in the business travel column to be counted if it equals this value here. So I select it, close parentheses, enter. And now you can see I have 1,043 employees in my data set who travel rarely. And by simply double clicking on the fill handle here, I get that same data for my other categories. And now I can select everything. Come to insert, charts group, bar plot, 2D bar plot, or column as they call it in here. And there we go. So now I have all my counts for each of my categories. I've got a title that I can change as I see fit. And furthermore, if I want to add some additional elements, like for instance, the axis titles, which is good practice to add, or I want to add the actual data itself by adding the data table, I can do that. And there you have it. If you like what you see, please click the subscribe button at the bottom of the video. And until next time, happy learning.